Hi, uh, good morning and welcome back. Today we will be learning about the unloader valve functioning on this circuit. So uh, this is the hydraulic circuit section of a uh, JCB back loader machine. The new JCB 3DX back loader machine comes with an unloader valve. So uh, its function is uh, to improve the fuel economy of the vehicle or improve the mileage of the vehicle. So let's see how it exactly does that function. So let's identify the components in this circuit first. So uh, this is the engine over here which is powering our hydraulic pump or giving the drive to the hydraulic pump. So this is a hydraulic pump. This is a single suction double delivery. You can see a single suction double delivery hydraulic pump. Uh, the first pump that's a P1 section is of 29cc and the P2 section is of 21cc. Okay. And this floor is going towards the valve block, the loader valve block. And the P2 section, the flow goes towards the steering unit, the steering valve and the orbit rod. Then it is routed through the unloader valve section and then goes towards the valve block like this. So this is the unloader valve or the unloader spool and this is the valve setting over here. And we have an orifice here. Uh, this uh, valve setting is, the unloader valve setting is of 207 bar or 3000 PSI, okay, pounds per square inch. That is one bar is equal to 14.5 uh, PSI approximately and this spool this is a two position one port spring centered uh, spool you can see one position two position so it's two position and one port so it's a two position one port spring centered valve now let's see how uh, this circuit exactly works and increases the fuel economy so you can see the engine is actually giving drive towards the pump so both the P1 and P2 pump works, the flow from the P1 travels directly towards the valve block and from the P2 the flow comes towards the steering unit, you can see through the steering unit the flow will travel like this, okay, and it comes and hits the spool of the unloader valve, here it is closed, so again the flow travels through this line, goes towards the loader valve block and also travels through this orifice comes and hits the unloader valve over here and also goes through a spool over here and also comes and hits the valve setting also. So let's see how it exactly works. So our pressure setting of the unloader valve is as I told earlier it is 207 bar and 3000 PSA. So initially we are considering a pressure of 200 bar that is nearly 2900 PSA. So that amount of pressure is traveling through this line comes here and hits the spool at this direction. So at this section the spool is closed. You can see the spool is already closed over here. It is blocked over here. So no flow travels through the unloader valve at this section. So that flow travels again like this through this line and comes here. The flow goes towards the loader valve block and some of the flow will travel through this dotted line comes like this downwards and hits the loader, the unloader valve spool at here. So 200 bar or 2900 PSI hits here and also through this dotted line you can see through the orifice the flow comes and hits here also that is 200 bar or 2900 PSI hits here also. It's the same pressure hits here also. So as, as the same pressure is hitting on both sides of the unloader valve, the unloader valve spool will not actually move. And you, as you know, the orifice effect in a hydraulic circuit, when there is no flow in the circuit, the pressure on both the sides will be the same. So 200 bar will be the same in this line because both the sides there is no flow because uh, this uh, uh, valve or unloader valve is not going to open at a 200 bar pressure or 2900 PSI because our uh, setting pressure is 207 bar which is greater than 200 PSI or 3000 PSI which is greater than 2900 PSI. So this will not open up so the flow is closed over here. So the pressure here will be having the same 200 bar or 2900 PSI. So our unloader valve will be in the same position. So what, what is really happening is that the flow coming goes through the steering unit, comes like this, some flow comes and hits the unloader spool at the bottom portion, some of it comes and hits in the top portion of the unloader spool and also hits on the valve over here. As the valve is not opening, the flow will directly go towards our loader valve block. So 
at a pressure setting below or a pressure pressure flow below 207 bar or 3000 psi our unloader valve will not function at that time the flow coming from both the pump i mean the p1 and p2 will travel and reach our valve blocks so that engine is giving the drive to both the pumps to create that flow so that much engine usage is happening but when the pressure setting goes beyond 207 bar or 3000 psi what will happen that let's see that right now okay so this is our pressure setting now the pressure has gone to 208 bar or 3014 psi so it is greater than our recommended setting of our uh, unloader valve so that flow is coming through this line travels and it enters here and hits here as it is blocked that flow will further travel through this line it is actually moving towards this line also and through this dotted line the flow comes downwards and hits our unloader spool at the bottom line so we have a pressure of 208 bar here or 3014 psi hitting our unloader spool over here okay and as I told, this line is also connected over here. So through the orifice, the flow will come, travel towards this line and also towards our unloader van. As the current flow or the current pressure setting is above that of our valve setting, that is 207 bar, and the pressure that we are currently created is 208 bar, that means 208. Our current uh, pressure which is coming is greater than that of the pressure of this unloader valve what happens is that this valve opens up so what happens is that this valve opens up and the line gets connected okay and the flow will travel towards the return towards the tank that means the flow coming from our second pump the first pump will directly give the flow towards the valve block our second pump the flow coming will travel to this line and through the orifice it will move the valve opens and move towards the tank so here we have a flow so what's the orifice effect happening when we have a flow that's very important when there is an orifice and we have a flow before the orifice the pressure will be high here before the orifice the pressure will be high and after the orifice the pressure will be low so because as with Pascal's law, when we have a restriction, the pressure increases. So orifice creates a restriction and pressure increases. Here the restriction is less because the orifice is opening up over here. So the pressure will be low over here. So we have a low pressure at this section, low pressure, even though the 208 bar is coming up. Here we will get the 208 bar or 3414 PSI. But at this section, the pressure will be less than that of the pressure over here because of the orifice effect. So here we have a low pressure and here we have a high pressure. What will be the pressure setting? Here the pressure will be less and here the pressure will be low. So when a pressure difference comes in, this pressure will push our unloader valve upwards. So this whole unloader valve moves upwards. So let's see. I have drawn this unloader valve section like this. So it is like this currently. So as the pressure setting over here is higher towards the pressure setting at the top, unloader valve slowly moves upwards like this okay now the unloader valve is at this position okay so the flow comes over here will connect towards this line over here earlier it was blocked the line was blocked over here so there was no flow but now the flow is connected over here and it will travel through this line and goes towards the return so goes towards the tank that means that flow will not go towards the loader valve block okay so I believe you've got some logic. That means the flow from the 29cc pump, the P1 pump will be supplied towards the valve block. But the flow from the 21cc pump will not be supplied towards the valve block. It will be creating a flow, but that flow will simply return towards the tank. That means this pump will not give a load on the engine because here now pressure is being created. Only just flow is happening. When pressure is only created, that restriction is happening. So the engine will have less load. When one pump is cut off, 
the engine will have less load as a result of that our fuel economy increases or our mileage increases so that's how an unloader valve actually works one of the pump flow is being cut off when the pressure setting goes beyond 207 bar or 3000 psi at this pressure setting the unloader valve opens up the flow coming from the P2 pump and releases it towards the tank thereby reducing the load on the engine at this 207 bar or 3000 psi pressure setting uh, helping the engine to reduce the load thereby increasing the fuel economy but this will not actually reduce uh, the pressure means the load that uh, our hydraulic circuit is giving for the work the speed will reduce but uh, the cutting force will not reduce because the pressure will be always at the recommended setting from the P1 pump which will give towards uh, the actuator so our uh, actuator will get the recommended pressure through the P1 line but the flow reduces as a result of that the speed will actually uh, reduce a bit so that's how simply an unloader valve works so it's a bit complicated but I believe you got an idea or if you have a doubt you can repeatedly see this video and still you have doubt please put a comment I will reply to it and if you like this video please click the like button or um, you can click the subscribe button on top of this video so that when we upload new technical videos it will directly come towards your mail inbox thanks for watching this video have a great day